Hello so Tell Flader Mouse, I was just wondering if you could shoot some of these magnetic ball bearings out of a shotgun for me. I think they'd make a really good projectile, and if you could, that would be great. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. First of all, I want to thank Zane for taking the time, the expense, the pain in the butt effort to mail these buckyballs to me. I definitely appreciate it. This is an awesome idea. I created two different types of rounds. This one I call a hollow round, and this is a, a solid round. Each round consists of 28 magnetic balls. I believe these balls are five millimeters, and this hollow round fit perfectly into a 12 gauge shell. The solid round was a little smaller in diameter, so I used a makeshift secondary shot cup to hold it snugly into the shotgun shell. We weren't sure, since this was never done before, what configuration would work better, so we decided to go with two different types. And we'll be able to see if it actually makes a difference or not. Oh, that was awesome. Since magnets stick to steel, we decided to put that cover from a microwave oven as a backdrop hoping to capture some of the magnets, and we found about three or four of them. Next we'll shoot one of the solid magnet projectiles at our block of clay. Not too bad, and once again we found three or four of the magnets still intact, stuck to our steel cover. Now we'll go back to the hollow round, there's a straw stuck in there, it kind of works like an internal sabo, sabot, sabo, however you want to say it. This was the hard drive on the right, it just put dents in the cover but the hard drive on the left, we got penetration and some of the magnets were still stuck inside the hard drive. And a few of the magnets actually shattered too. And now we'll go back to the solid round and we'll shoot it at about 70 yards at our truck door. <laughs> Tons of them. Those are magnets. There you go. That's amazing. So yeah, they all hit here. They stayed together. We found this in the dirt. One, one. A couple remnants. I don't think any's under the paint. Somehow a ring of magnets transformed from a group of seven to a group of eight and slapped nice and flat into the truck door. Okay, military grade buckshot. Hit it. Double odd. And that's the end of the video. If you're one of those people that can't stand my low resolution, high speed footage, thank you for watching. And if you're not one of those people and were curious on what happened, here's the high speed footage. This is filmed at 600 frames per second. I have three Casio EX F1 Pro high speed cameras, and I consider them field grade cameras. I don't need a group of camera operators standing by on each camera they'll film continuously for as long as I want and I don't need to plug them each into a individual laptop to control them now this shot is 1200 frames per second which is the maximum speed of the camera interesting enough some of the buckyballs stayed connected together like little ball chains in groups of three or four and it appears that the magnetic strength of the balls wasn't enough to make them regroup and stick back together in flight. I wasn't sure if the way we stacked the balls, either the solid or the hollow configuration, 
would make it much of a difference, but we actually are seeing slight differences in their flight characteristics. It looks like the hollow magnet round had a little more of a spread and we had fewer of the magnets sticking together. But you can't see a chain of, of about four balls stuck together still, just missing the left side at the bottom of the left hard drive. Seventy yards is kind of pushing the limits, even on double lot buckshot. But Darren was able to hit the truck door still with the magnetic buckyball rounds. I set the focus on this camera so that we could see what was happening the moment it left the barrel. I believe that the magnetic balls kind of acted like a Newton's cradle, accelerating the front balls a little faster than the back balls and that left that unusual flying ring of eight magnets. I never would have imagined that a ring like that could have formed and flown in the orientation that it did. It flew straight through the air in a ring configuration. We always get a lot of comments from people wanting us to shoot some kind of a standard round along with our improvised round to kind of compare the two. All the white stuff that you see flying through the air is called a buffer. It's kind of a granulated polystyrene. The buffer acts like packing peanuts. When the round is shot, it prevents the lead balls from smashing into each other and deforming. And a deformed ball is going to fly pretty irregularly. So that stuff is just there to keep the balls round and flying straight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.